they want to leave us yet. Well, that one's playable. We play first, though. If you're playing red again, that's not a hand I want to keep. I mean, to an extent it is. There's life gain and stuff. Unfortunately, it's only two lands, though. If he's playing the mill deck, that would definitely be one I would consider keeping, because if I can drop a creature early, then he... It's just annoying, but... Soul Warden. A Johnny's deck? Huh. Okay. We'll see what happens. I really need to draw mana, though really need to draw mana. And there's one of these in the deck right now, because it's the card we just unlocked. Ew, that sucks. If we can start getting mana, though, we can actually stand a chance here. One, two. Turns three, turns four. We'd be fine. Wouldn't have to worry about a thing. Ugh, that's miserable. For a manless hand? Very much so. This is gonna go good. Oh no, we gotta land. We got mana. Just need to get one more now. To actually stand a chance in this. Although that 5-5 five five is going to make things real difficult because I need at least one more mana and a condition. I need at least two turns to be able to deal with any part of that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, because <laughs> this deck's uh, removal was just so terrible. I don't think there's anything that's that I can use before that that's just like, oh yeah, you can survive against an Johnny Pride mate. I'm going to jump block like crazy. That's about my options. I, don't, I think I'll take five now because it'll be a lot scarier when it gets bigger. Um, let's make me draw a card. Get in for two. What is that? <laughs> That's fun. You can't attack or block the beginning of your upkeep. You gain one life. Okay. Throw him in front of that, I guess, now. Um, there's the Grim Grin. If I can get Grim Grin out, we'll be okay. I'm gonna take a lot of damage, though. Not with a main slayer. Not with a main slayer. Yep, 
he just came out way too fast. Just nothing I can do there. Cool. I don't think we stalled, per se, but, you know, that was just that one creature. I mean, I, I can't deal with one creature. That's the downfall of this deck. I would definitely not recommend playing it at all. Because it can't deal with anything until way, way, way late. Oh. I mean, I had cards. It's just no way to deal with what's on the field. You know, it's about dealing with what's, in, with what's in the hand, not on the field. Crash again. Alright, we are back. After that crash. And he plays first. We have an Agony Warp. There is a way to kill something before turn four. Um... Place first, we don't really have any advantage, but I'm going to keep it. I don't know what he's playing, it's a new opponent. Um, not great, not bad though. I mean, it's just kind of a hand depending on what he plays, could be good or could be terrible. Well, and there's the third mana, that's not terrible now. It should be playable now, I think. Now that we have an Agony Warp that's activatable, and if we hit another mana, we can put out the uh, Sangromancer and do bad things with that. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not bad. Ashley and the Extinguisher, please. Love Ashley and the Extinguisher. But he actually has to play something for us to do something. <laughs> um, again, just pass the turn, I guess. Everything's playable in our hand except for our Invisimancer, which doesn't really matter until later anyway. Okay. So, Prophecy Bolt is, I'm guessing, what's going to happen, so I'm going to drop that guy first, because I'd rather have Ashling than him, just because... Ashling's good against a lot of other things, and I can always just kind of manipulate the battlefield to make Ashling better. <laughs> Where it's him, I don't have anything that's actually going to make me make him discard cards or kill his creatures yet. So. I mean, I'm guessing a Prophecy Bolt. That just seems like something that would be there. Um, let's uh, attack and see what happens. He's going to take it. I will definitely drop the Ashling then. There is a Prophecy Bolt. Either that or he's reading Ashling. Must have just been reading Ashling. Weird. Hmm. I can draw blue mana. We can kill that. In any number of ways. Without the blue mana, though, it's going to be a little bit rougher. Minus three, minus three, and we'll kill it anyway. <laughs> it's like, what did you think was going to happen there? Probably the same thing I thought the other game. What's he going to do? He's got blue and black mana. Agony Warp. Broken. And there went your entire strategy because you didn't play anything before turn six. I can get blue mana though, anything you do play. That works. That does work. I will be forced to kill my own creature. To 
you jerk. That was very mean of you. I'm very hurt now. Oh. Oh well. Let's just keep getting in there. That plus four or minus four? Okay. Minus four, minus zero, and plus four, minus zero? That's weird. That's a bad card to be playing, if you ask me. Oh, I mean, it's a combat trick, I guess. Basically, agony warp, except different. To each creature without flying. bluff because it doesn't matter anyway <laughs> you start doing that to my creatures I'm gonna do it back to you it's only fair all right jester's cap cool what, search my library for three cards, exile them, and then shuffle my library? Go for it. <laughs> I've got all my best cards in my hand right now. <laughs> Unless you grab three islands, then by all means, go for it. Oh. You don't have very many turns, my friend. You've got one, maybe two turns. Yeah, there's really not much to grab in there. It's a pretty shitty deck that you're about to lose to. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. You're gonna lose your turn. I wish I could see what he exiled. Where's my RFG pal? Oh, look, blue mana. down to eight. I will draw a card. And we should be able to win next turn. With the uh, Laquanus champion. And even if we don't, I'll just put followed footsteps on him the following turn. And if he somehow manages to survive... Nope, that's game. in there for the little tiny bit of damage that we can. And see where we're at. That was your one card. And Laquatus Champion. Oh, are you done watching combat yet? Please be done watching combat. Oh, really? We're going to go through this? Your creature dies. don't know what you're doing. Okay guys, well we'll be back in just a moment. And this is why I hate this game, because this guy can sit here for another hour or so before anything happens, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the rest of the deck, because assholes like this just ruin the game and upset me, so 
I'm just going to finish it off and do the deck analysis. But if you guys see AP3 Brain on Steam, be sure to message him and let him know what an asshole he is. See you guys. All right, guys, we're back for one more game before I call it quits. Oh, that one's at least playable. And hopefully this guy doesn't cheat on us because that's just terrible. Uh, just such a waste of time to have to go and unlock those those, those uh, cards from the Suntail Hawk. Because it just takes forever. It's just like a 10 minute game. Sometimes even longer. Just terrible. Ugh, I hate it though. What you grabbing? Oh, maybe a mirror? Possibly the mirror? I like it. I like where we're going so far. Huh. Double black. Wonder what it is. Like I said, it could be any of 800 different decks now. Um. Let's uh, get in there for two, I guess. But no, I just. Oh, I hate people. <laughs> Sometimes. Just wish that, you know, people could lose with dignity instead of just being like, oh, you said GG five seconds earlier than you should have. I'm going to just freeze the game and leave. He actually told me that that's what he was going to do. After I stopped recording, it was, oh, well, if you're going to be an ass about it, I'm just going to leave then. Really? I was like, I said one word to you. Two letters, not even one word, two letters. Oh, crazy though. Absolutely ridiculous. Is this the other? Or is this this deck? Is there another deck that's black blue? I thought there was, but I mean, I don't know. Nope, this is the exact same deck. Fun. That means I win. Cool. I'll take it. Ouch. Um. Let's uh, attack with you. All right, minus three, minus zero, minus zero, minus three. Get a two for one out of that. Oh, I should have played the mask, but oh well. Wouldn't have been able to play it, and or wouldn't have been able to equip it la next turn anyway. So there you go. It's a good play. Two for one, me back, gain some life. Definitely a solid play. Get the gas lord out there because he's annoying and he's unblockable. And when I put that on him, I'm going to draw cards and pick a card to make you discard and have a lot of fun with that. Death touch, whenever non token creature dies, you may draw a card. Okay. Oh, I could drop Rexial. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep one creature out against him, because then one of his kill cards does not work, which is 
awesome. And then I can actually see his hand now. I guess we could have done that before. But. Let's see what you got. Yep. Goodbye, Agony War. Oh, so we'll drop the Rex Seal next turn then. And Rex Seal will be big and scary and do what he's supposed to. here. I think I'm okay. Yep, I get to cast your lovely Ribbons of Night on your creature and gain four life. So yeah, I'm gonna skip blocking, obviously. Um... Creatures unblockable this turn. Yeah. Cool. Now just gain some life. I should play my creature, but oh well. I don't feel like it. There you go. GG. I'm not going to say it this time, because people apparently get pissed when you've clearly won. And yeah, so not going to say anything. Apparently GG is an insult and not the saying, oh yeah, it was a good game. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and do this thing and then get it done. And I'll see you later.